Hi guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a toy surprise yoga class for kids. It's gonna be so fun. This is one video in a series of videos we're doing like this. So if you like videos like these, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. We'd also like to give a shout out to Emmett and Esther. Thank you so much for sharing your workout with us on Instagram. I've got Vivian and Grayson here helping me today. And of course, always be safe, listen to your body, and only do poses that feel good for you. All right, we'll get started. We are gonna start doing a sloth pose so we can get down on our knees. And we will take our arm and we're gonna hook it over a tree and then we can stretch to the side. Beautiful. And we're gonna switch to the other side, hooking one arm over the tree and stretching to the side, warming up. And we'll switch again to this side. Stretch. And switching again to this side. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna do one more sloth pose. We're gonna get down on our backs. And we're gonna hook our legs around a tree branch, hook our arms. And while we're here, we can grab our knees and rock back and forth a little bit. We can also move into happy baby pose and grab our knees, or if you can grab your feet or your toes, you can grab your feet and rock back and forth as well. Excellent. And we'll bring our knees back in and we can come back up to a seated position. The next pose we're gonna do is Charmander. And Charmander has a fire tail. So we're gonna get down on all fours and we're gonna stretch out opposite arm and leg and then bend our leg up for fire tail. And then we'll switch sides. So stretching arm and leg out and then bending your knee for fire tail. Beautiful. One more time. Excellent. All right, so the next one is cat pose. It's a leopard. And so we're going to get into our cat position. And just like a Halloween cat, we're gonna arch up our back. And then we can look the other way. And we'll do that once more. Beautiful. Good. So the next one we're gonna do is for the slinky dog and we're gonna do downward and upward dog. So we can come into downward dog, pressing our feet and our hands into the ground, putting our bums in the air. And it's okay if your heels don't touch the ground. And we can stretch here, spreading your fingers and toes. You can look up at your belly button and then we'll come down on our knees and we'll move into upward dog. So stretch your legs out and pressing into the floor, looking up, lots of space between your ears and your shoulders. And then we'll press into downward dog one more time. Putting your bum in the air, good. Take a breath here. and then coming back down onto our knees. All right, the next pose is unicorn pose. So we're gonna stand up here, and for unicorn pose, we're gonna move into warrior one. So we're gonna put our front foot facing towards the side, back foot so our hips are facing towards the side of the room. We're gonna bend our front leg and leave our back leg straight and take our arms up like a unicorn horn and breathe. Beautiful, you guys. And we'll straighten that front leg and we can move around to the other side. And bending our front leg, back leg is straight, pointing our unicorn horn straight up. 
wonderful. And straightening our front leg coming out of the pose. The next pose is giraffe pose. And we're gonna do side angle pose for this. So we can step our feet out wide. We're gonna turn one foot and turn it to face the side of the room, but our hips are still facing towards the front. We'll bend one knee. We'll take our forearm, put it on our leg, and then reach over. And just like a giraffe, we can pretend to eat some leaves up there. Beautiful. And we'll move to the other side, straightening the legs, turning your foot around, bending that front leg, putting your arm on your leg, and then reaching your long giraffe neck and eating the leaves. Good, we can come out of the pose step together and the next one is the kangaroo pose and we're going to do chair pose and then we're going to do one kangaroo jump so we can face the side and we're going to face the side bending our knees and we have our joey in our kangaroo there and then we'll put our kangaroo ears up and sink low into our hips as if we're trying to sit down on a chair and breathe and we'll take one kangaroo jump. Ready and jump. Awesome. All right, the next position is stork pose. And we're gonna do a variation of tree. So we're gonna put our feet together and we're gonna pick one foot up. And oh, if you followed, it's okay. Just try again. Or you can leave your toe down too. And then we'll put our hands up just like a stork looking up with its beak and breathe. All right, we'll try it on the other side, picking the other foot up and putting our stork beak up. Wonderful, all right. So the next one is a koala and koalas are super cute and they like to climb trees. So we're gonna do eagle pose to pretend to climb a tree like a koala. So we can bend our knees and we're gonna put one foot out to the side and we're gonna wrap it around the tree and you can put your toe down on the other side. We'll take our arms out and then we're going to wrap them around a tree, cross your elbows, bend, and then put your palms together if you can and then sink down a little bit. Beautiful. And we'll unwrap, unwind from the tree and come back to a standing position. Shake it out. Good, and we'll do it on the other side. Bending your knees, foot out, foot wraps around the tree. Arms come out to the side. This time your other arm goes over, bending your elbows, grabbing your palms and sinking down. Take a breath here. Beautiful and unwind and come out and shake it out. All right, the next pose is the gorilla pose. So Donkey Kong is our gorilla and we're gonna do an easy forward fold. So we can face the side and place our hands on our hips, bending your knees a little bit. We'll fold all the way forward. We're gonna make our gorilla hands at the bottom and you can bend your knees so that you can touch. And then we'll just hang our head here and Relax our neck, you can shake your head no a little bit. And relax, stretching out your back in this forward fold. Beautiful. All right, and we'll roll up one vertebra at a time until we are back in a standing position. All right, the next pose is for toad and so we're gonna do a froggy pose so we can separate our feet a little bit we're gonna inhale our arms up above our head and then we're gonna come down into a squatting toad pose 
Excellent job. All right, and inhale, we'll bring our arms back up and come back down into our toad pose. Beautiful, you guys. And one more time, inhale up and exhale, toad pose. All right, from here, we're gonna move into our Pikachu pose. So we'll come bringing our feet together, bending our knees. We're gonna hunch down and we're gonna jump out into star pose. And jump back in and star pose. And one more time, we'll jump in and star pose. Beautiful, stretching your fingers out and coming back in. All right, the next pose is camel pose and camels have big humps. So we're going to turn into one of the camel humps so we can get down on our knees. And what you can do is place your hands on your lower back and then you're just gonna open up your chest and look up. So we'll come right up on top of our knees so we're not sitting down on our bums, we're on our knees and tip back. Beautiful. If you wanted to make this position more advanced, you can tuck your toes under and then reach for your heels, but only if you've done this before and you feel that it's safe for you. Beautiful. All right, the next pose is bunny pose. So from here, we're gonna stay up on our knees, bring our hands down, put the top of our head on the mat and then we're gonna reach back for our feet and rounding out your back as if you're a burrowing bunny. Beautiful. Remember to keep breathing. We can release out and come back to a seated position. And the next pose we're gonna do is alligator pose. And for alligator, we're gonna do a plank. So you can either do a full plank or you can do it from your knees. And so if you're gonna do full, you can tuck your feet and make your body straight like a plank. You wanna have your gaze down a little bit head, but down at your mat, lots of length in your neck. And breathe. Good job, you guys are working hard. And place your knees down if they're not already down. And now we're gonna move into whale pose. So for whale pose, we can get down on our stomach and put our arms down. And we're going to lift our head and our arms and our legs. Legs are nice and straight, beautiful. And release down and relax. And ready again, and lift. And release down and relax. And lift one last time. And relax. Beautiful. The next pose is turtle pose. So we're gonna come into a diamond pose with our legs. So bringing our feet together, and so that our legs are in the shape of a diamond. And you can either work your arms underneath your legs like this, or you can grab onto your feet and lean forward, making the shape of a turtle shell. Beautiful. Relax forward. Remember to breathe. And the next pose is gonna be our very last pose is octopus pose. And so we're gonna do Shavasana. So you can get down on your back and you can pretend that you've got eight legs and you're just gonna flop them out and relax. You can pretend that you're at the bottom of a beautiful ocean with colorful fish swimming all around you.
And breathing slowly and gently. You can wiggle your fingers and your toes, and you can point your toes and stretch your arms in the opposite direction. And then you can roll over onto your side and come back up to a seated position. Bring your hands to heart center and namaste. Thanks so much for sharing your practice today. You guys did amazing. We love to see you guys working out. So if you want to tag us on Instagram at Pregnancy and Postpartum TV, we love to see you guys. Also, if you like videos like these, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give it a thumbs up and share this with another family that you think would enjoy this. And if you want to be part of our Insiders Kids Club, I'm going to put a link below where we share updates and information that we don't share anywhere else and you'll have the opportunity to get notified for any toy surprise giveaways that we're doing. All right, thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Nice and straight like a plank. <laughs> Beautiful <Vivian>. coloring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, try again, try again, try again. <laughs> Maybe we see a shark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, not a shark, not a shark. <laughs>